Right, first mission today is actually being able to see where I'm going with the Urus. Oh, God. Let's give it a go, boys. Ah, oh, it's so cold. Uh -huh. Boom. Wow. Oops. Ah. Cold start. Okay. Uh-huh. Let's see. Whoa. Yes, 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 yes. Good, good, good. Okay. Okay, this um, side visibility is a bit of a problem. Now then, first gear, let's go. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay. Boom. <laughs> Morning thing works. Good morning. How are you? Pleasure. We're preparing breakfast, opening the egg in the urus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, bless you. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> you asshole. I just got completely done. Look at this. They can kind of see. Everything seems pretty clean. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is all getting very violent. <laughs> We're back with the gorgeous views. We got Amrit round back, and we've actually got less stuff in the car now. Yeah, we got rid of the efficiency packing, splitter. bro. Efficiency packing. Yeah, no more four GT splitters. So I think we're good to go. Do you have the Oreos? Yeah. And this anyways, is not an ad, bro. This is not an ad. I'm enjoying my comfortable heated seat. We don't have much snow on the road, so we've whacked it in Corsa mode. Then he's behind the wheel, of course, giving it a little, a little bit of gas. 650 horsepower in this car, twin turbo V8. It's pretty crazy, right? You enjoying it? I'm loving it, actually. The capabilities of this car are mind-blowing. We're in these beautiful roads, but it's just insane how much you can do with this. Double clutch gearbox is pretty impressive as well, right? It is fast. Yeah. Sleeping at the same time. Bro. And then look, you just got Amrit chilling in the back at the same time. The comfort and the speed. Yeah, there's so much. Oh, and it sounds pretty decent as well. It has a nice tone, right? Yeah, it has quite a nice tone. Compliments for the, the Lambo. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get the sound. You ready? Oi. Wow. So impressive. Now this car is fantastic. And look, I've got my heated seat on. We're in total, total comfort. You want some sweet tamarind? Yeah, sorry. Oi. There yes. you go. All right, anyways, onwards to a place called Bastard Burger. <laughs> Yes? Is that a yes? You all right? I'm great. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. We just yeah. had a fantastic burger. We're back at Pasta Burger, and you know, you can actually tell now by how many of the people. <laughs> I'm doing the hand thing, just keep filming. How many less people we've got than we did last time we were here. Because last time we filled up all of this, and then this time it's only that quick. Guys, <laughs> what is happening here? Anyways, how much longer do we have to go? How much longer? Four hours? Four and a half? Yeah, we have four hours to drive to stop. Oh, God. We're going to go to the hotel at six. So, you know what? Oh, yeah? Let's fast forward. So, we're losing the light and we stopped at a petrol station. Now, it is unbelievably slippery. So, if at any point the camera's shaking in weird ways, you know why. But I thought, as you guys probably saw in the title and the thumbnail of this video, I would give you a tour of this very special car. GT3 RS Rally. To my knowledge, basically the only one. I mean, it's the only one I've ever seen. And I thought I'd walk you through what makes this particular car special. So, obviously, it's a 991 GT3 RS. You can tell that because there aren't the air vents here in the front. But then also, the lights around rear are one piece, whereas on the new one they're split in two pieces now these have the um white lights they've got some special name for that but effectively that is quite a rare option to have on these but it looks very very cool it's also got the ultraviolet pink color and originally black rims so effectively the perfect spec gt3 rs for me to start off with what do you then do to transform it into this beast so obviously first thing stickers so you pick a base color in this case yellow that goes well with the purple you put the stickers so we've got the sponsor stickers here and then in black we've got the classic porsche sticker down the side which is an absolute classic now the biggest change you can see obviously these rally lights which are just kind of stuck on here to the front hood and um, which also are on that car pretty much are the same ones but we can do a tour of that car and another time and yeah so that's the main difference and that's really useful when you're driving in these sorts of conditions and it gets very very dark here there aren't many lights on the road or you're in a snowstorm that's where this becomes really important now apart from that we've also had it raised so it's been raised up it's obviously on some pretty serious winter tires but raised up a few 
few centimeters because you know the GT3 RS was always so famous for having the wheels so far up in the wheel arches and actually touching on circuits like the Nurburgring. So having that there is actually really useful and makes the car obviously have a much better ground clearance for when you're going over bumps and doing rally-like driving. Now the rims have obviously been changed as well, color-wise. Those have gone to yellow. Um, and yeah, I mean, the other things they've added are these mud flaps, which are very cool. Also finished in yellow, really nice touch. Those are just strapped on there, but it makes the car look so much more badass from behind, like that. Proper rally spack. And then the most important thing is the exhaust. That is a straight pipe exhaust. Here's a few clips of a couple reps. Can you do a little rep? So yeah, that is the biggest change. Complete straight pipe, and then inside, if I open it up, it is standard, but this one has full carbon fiber. It's got, yeah, the gray stitching on it, yellow seat belts, which go well with the outside, and then the roll case. But inside, nothing has really changed. That is GT3 RS through and through. Now, I thought I would show you that just because every day we're doing these long drives, and I thought we should change up the content and maybe give you a bit more of an in-depth look uh, to some of the cars. Now, the one car that I also wanted to do, but that I left one day early, actually, was the Ford GT but I may do some in-depth look into that because that is an interesting car as well. Anyways, yeah, so now we're gonna keep hitting the road and we've still got a long, long way to go. This is stunning. We've got the sun poking its way through the, the forest trees in front of us, snow around us, most of the convoy in front of us. Benny's got the 360 going. Look at that. That is quite the angle. Come on, focus camera. Okay, there we go. You can see the angle. So we've got the 360 time lapse going on the front of the car. And I just thought this was too pretty to, to not show you because if we filmed everything, I mean, look at that frozen lake next to us. If I just filmed everything that was beautiful, we'd be filming nonstop. But this is particularly stunning. Perfect timing. This is probably the brightest sun we've had all trip. And it's about to go down. And this is just such a gorgeous drive. Wow. <laughs> We were just talking about the fact that it wasn't really snowing and then all of a sudden the sun disappears and it starts snowing. It's calmed down quite a bit now but I filmed a few shots that you're probably seeing as overlays right now of when it was pretty intense and you can't see anything in front of you and the sketchy moments are like what we're about to have here where you got ice on the road, snow, and then you can't really see what's in front and a huge truck comes past like Oh. Yep, moments like that, it's absolutely terrifying. But the sun just bang, gone. And we've got 273 kilometers to go, which on these roads isn't lovely. And as you say, I'm in the dark, because it is 2.30, which means sunset around here. I'm in a car with some madmen now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. We've got Florian who joined back there. So we've got a full car with all the bags and everything. We're about to arrive in Stockholm. And uh, we were just chatting about how incredible this trip has been. I mean, for us to be lucky enough to go on trips like these, a car like this. in a car like this, with Goodness. the people that were on the trip with us, it was just, it's, every time we do one of these Gallic trips, I always say, you know, it was better than the last one, and if we, you know, they outdid themselves. Yeah, there's a guy driving a bit crazy in front wow. of us. Is that Eddie? Oh. Is it Eddie? In the ball? No, no, I don't think so. That's but, awesome. um, awesome. <laughs> oh, we spent too long in this car, guys. But yeah, we've, I think this is the best snow tour we've ever done. We had two track days. I don't like being behind someone that is like a bit too nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. It's all kicking off. It's all kicking off. Hello. It's bullies. Is it? Yeah. It looks like bullies. Look at that face. <laughs> I'm on strata mode. Strata mode. <laughs> Nothing Super bad happening here. I was about to say a bit behind. <laughs> I mean, what is that? <laughs> what was your highlight of the trip? <laughs> he, he summed up pretty well. <laughs> wait, wait, look, 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 Volvo crazy guys. <laughs> what is he doing? Like, what is he trying to do? What Just is he doing? Zigzagging on each side. Yeah, it's no Russian style indicators. driving. Yeah. But if you had one highlight, I'm trying, I'm trying, to, I'm trying my best, guys. Yeah. About the trip? Yeah. No, but you can't do this while we're driving. Amrit, back in your seat. Always wear your seatbelt. Okay, so one, one more highlight. Right. For me, Lamborghini. Lamborghini? Yeah. Did you say Lamborghini? Lamborghini. <laughs> yeah, we said Genie, Genie. Did you say Genie? <laughs> Lamborghini. 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 Amrit, if you had a one word, one word highlight. Connecting with crazy people. Oh, it was like three words. Four words, yeah. yeah. Do you have a highlight? Yeah, the helicopter. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Oh, we went there for 
for that. No, no, I think for me, like, just the people that were on it. I know it sounds cheesy, but honestly, that does make it pretty special. Because I was jumping from different well, cars. What did you say? The people. Seb, ask me again one word, please. What's your highlight? One word? Yeah. Tinder. Oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyways, we're going to get to the hotel now and see all the other guys, and I'll, I'll see you there. Thank you.